Minister. I acknowledge what you said at the outset here, and I welcome it. I think uh, one of the issues in Irish politics is that we don't admit when we've made mistakes often enough. And I think, uh, as Senator Doherty said, the Leader of the House, your, your comments demonstrated humility that is often absent in politics. Um, so I welcome what you've said. I welcome the compassion of what you said. Um, and I acknowledge what other speakers have said about the level of pain and anxiety and hurt that this legislation has caused in recent times in the public discourse. Could you just move to the seat next to you there, there's a microphone. Thank you. Very good. Yeah. Um, sorry, Carhirlik. Um, Gramagath, what I said at the outset, Minister, I don't know whether I need to repeat it or not, but I acknowledge what you have said at the outset of this debate and the importance of the humility of what you've said and the comments that you've made in terms of acknowledging when mistakes have been made, and in this context, I think particularly in the presentation of this legislation. Um, and other speakers, as I've said, have also mentioned the effect that that has had on the survivors, the victims of these horrible deeds, these awful events that we know about, um, and the effect that it's had on them in terms of the anxiety it has caused, the hurt that it has caused, the upset that it has caused. That is undeniable. But I think in all of the discussions in both this House and the Doyle, in all of those discussions, what has been absent is a recognition of actually what I think has truly caused that hurt. And that is a sustained and dishonest campaign of misinformation about what this bill actually does. Every member of, the, of both Houses of the Optus has received literally thousands of emails about this subject. Um, they have received emails that are grossly misinformed because of what I see online and elsewhere, even in, in, our, in our mainstream media, discussions about issues that are not in this bill. I don't know how many emails I've received from people criticising me for sealing the records of the mother and baby homes, something that is not in this bill. And I have challenged other members of the Houses to point out where in this bill it says that we're sealing those records. They haven't been able to tell me because it's not there. This is a short bill. It deals with a very specific issue that you've identified, Minister, and that is actually safeguarding the database that has been created by the Commission. Now, that said, I welcome absolutely what you've said about revising the, the, the time limits that are applied to information from the Commission, revising what we're going to do in terms of making that available to people, and everybody in both houses rec re recognises the importance of doing that. But I think if we're to be honest on this subject, we must also recognise that there are parties out there and in here who have been involved in willfully misleading the victims of these homes, in willfully putting out information that has deliberately caused upset, anxiety, hurt to the people, the very people they then come in here and purport to represent. And in fairness, those same people have acknowledged, Minister, your goodness in this, because I think you have an honest and a forthright approach to this, and you've sought to do something that was right. But others have twisted that, and they have taken that information on what's in this bill, and they have misrepresented it, and they have led those people up the garden path. I, 